played extremely well. Did everything that we wanted to do in the game. Uh, the game played out exactly like we thought it played out. Um, defended well, shut down their attackers. They had their first choice guys except Nemeth. Um, other than long throw-ins, a few little half chances, they, they didn't generate anything. Um, so from a defensive standpoint, I thought we were exceptional. And we had uh, more clear chances than we probably had in any game all year. We had three, four breakaways. Um, and we should have scored. And we should have won. So what was your message to the guys? Same message I'm telling you guys. Should have won, should have scored, played well. Um, did everything right, everything right. Game plan, execution. Um, you know, before the game, I said the game was going to come down. I knew we'd play well. Told them we'd play well. I knew our preparation was good. And I knew we'd have more chances, and I knew they'd have less chances, which is the way you want to draw it up. And uh, I told them it'd come down to in the moments, you know, and, and finishing. And uh, we weren't able to score today, and we, we should have. And uh, that's that's what I told them, and they know that. You know, attackers, they're paid to score. And uh, they they didn't have half chances. We had clear chances, you know, and you have to credit their goalkeeper, of course. Um, but we also made them look good on a few of those. And, you know, I can't remember having better chances, honestly. Like I said, when you have breakaways where you want to be the keeper, those are the ones that you really get. You know, kind of disappointed with, but uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. We move on. We stay level with Kansas City. We go three points away from San Jose. You know, we lose two points a little bit by not finishing. Um, but uh, last two games, I thought we, from start to finish, both sides of the ball, except for the finishing. Um, and you know, listen, we've worked on it all week. It comes down to the player in that moment, and and I'm confident the quality's there. Okay, if you, if you don't have the quality, if you don't have the talent. If you're not getting chances, then you're worried, but I'm um, confident the quality's there, the talent's there, we're getting chances, um, defending very well, playing, you know, two of our most complete games, in all honesty, back to back, um, but missing that that final um, touch to goal. And, and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do in the game, and, and like I said, that's the difference in winning and not winning, and, and that's the piece we got to get sorted. For a team that's scored so much in the past, do you think it comes down to maybe a mental thing? No, I mean, you know, sometimes when you're not generating chances, it can be mental because you're not getting chances. You get frustrated. I mean, these guys are confident. You can see it. Anybody that watched you know, this game, you can see these guys don't look tense. Um, you know, I didn't think they looked um, uncomfortable in those moments. Uh, a few of them were rushed, a few of them were, you know, a little bit better decision, going far post than near post type of thing. A few of them were great saves. Um, but honestly, I can't remember this year getting more clear chances. I know against Seattle we had 20 shots. This, this game had 18, but I think the chances we got in this game were, were more clear cut uh, than, than any game all year. So you, you can't draw it up any better. You can't do anything more other than finish when you get in those situations. You know, we're talking, like I said, clear, one to be the keeper, wide open headers, and you know, we're not, we're not leaving uh, negative, right? Because uh, sometimes you cannot finish and, and get frustrated. These guys have a, they do have a tension. You know, the guys that were in those situations, they have someone they need to, because there's always, pressure to score. Um, everybody knows it's a part of the game. But uh, I think these guys will leave feeling like uh, we played well, feeling like we dominated a very good team, uh, an experienced team, um, you know, feeling like we did everything right except finish. And the players that were in those positions will, I think, very be very hungry to make sure next time they're in those positions that they'll score. You talk about Caleb Hayes uh, play, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, Taylor and George. You know, these are second-year players. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of talk around the league always when young guys step in. And, um, you know, I think George is a guy that's not been talked about much this year. And I think he deserves, uh, you know, a lot of credit. 
for, for the season he's had when he stepped in and how he played. I thought he was exceptional. Playing against arguably one of the best three center mids, I mean, the, the big part of their game is, is you know, getting Phil Haber, Nagamora, Mustavar on the ball. I, I thought Jack and George um, and Valeri, I thought we won that battle. And uh, not many teams do that. So I thought George was a big part of that. Aggressive, winning balls, uh, clean on the ball. Um, you know, and then, uh, and then Taylor. I mean, he was going against Graham Zussi, you know, a, a U.S. international World Cup player. And, uh, you know, a couple shots from distance. Other than that, I thought Taylor did, did an exceptional job of, uh, of limiting his chances and uh, had a great game. So it's real positive, those two young youngsters getting in and putting, putting a real positive shift in. Time for one more, please. You're creating many, many more chances in the last three games than you were before. What do you think has been uh, the catalyst in turning that around? Uh, you know, I think we're uh, just playing aggressively. You know, we're, we're, we're preparing very well. We've had more time to prepare. We were in that window where we were rotating lineups and not much training. I think you know, our training prep has been very good, and we've really been pushing our, um, you know, dominant football. You know, where we want to be in the front half and push games, but also we're still prepping to make make sure we're prepared when we're in the back half. Um, but I think we're you know, we're playing aggressively. That's the way we want to play. And, you know, my belief is that when you play that way and you get chances, that uh, it, you increase your chances of winning. Um, but you do you do have to finish, right? For us to get 38 shots in the last two games and not score a goal from the run of, run of play. We can't be satisfied with that. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.